Albrecht Dürer, a Northern European Renaissance artist born in Nuremberg, Germany, created art that still grabs us today, over 500 years later. Dürer is known as the graphics master who celebrated the human condition using Renaissance inspirations of geometry and perspective. The human form in all its beauty and unadorned hideousness is celebrated and admired in the context of a domestic setting. Durer was the son of a goldsmith craftsman, learning how to create fine objects with gold, but his interest lay in painting. When Durer was only 15, he apprenticed in the studio of Michael Wolgemuth where he remained for four years. He painted altars and learned the new art of woodcut printing. At 19, he took a year off to travel. Two trips to Italy, a wife, and many paintings later, he turned his energies to artistic prints in the hopes of earning a better income. He was 39. The Life of Mary series was started in his mid-30s and completed by the time he was engraving full-time. Not only was Durer an accomplished and towering talent, he wrote and published three books on arch theory covering geometry, perspective, fortification, and ideal proportions. The latter topic was published posthumously. Durer was only 57 when he passed away. The Life of the Virgin series consists of 20 woodcuts. It was published in book form in 1511 with Latin verses on the back of each print, written by the Benedictine monk Benedictus Celidanius. Each verse describes the various scenes of the Virgin's life. The series was not envisioned as a series, but rather it came together after the first works were done. The series was published in a separate book, as were two other publications for which Durer is most famous, The Apocalypse and The Large Passion. Dewar would create the design, do some of the wood carving himself, but eventually had professional cutters do the wood carving or engraving, as was the custom at that time. His design stayed as true as possible to the biblical passages. All illustrations are rich in anecdotal detail, lines that are varied and interesting, and great attention to the use of perspective and geometric placement of figures in the composition. Figures are frequently placed against a stunning architectural backdrop as in a theatrical setting. Durer was the most famous of Northern European artists and his art has stood the test of time.